Sincere Harrison will tell you she wouldn't trade her job for any others. They have a great work environment, great employees, they help, very helpful. This is the teen's second year working at Kings Island, but this year has been tainted by a group of teens coming to the park to fight. The stuff that I've seen is just disruptive, like it shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be going, it's just ridiculous because like, they, they it's, it's a place where people are supposed to have fun. Just this past weekend, it happened again. Around 8 p.m. Saturday, Mason police say that four kids were arrested after they responded to a report of a large fight in the parking lot. Kings Island had previously upped security at the park and cut nighttime hours. Still, some folks are concerned, saying they would rethink bringing their kids. But Sincere Harrison feels confident in heading back into her shift. Our security makes sure our employees are safe, the people are, are in the park are safe. I'm never nervous. I'm always excited and joyful to go. I've never once ever felt unsafe at Kings Island. Working there, going there as a visitor, I've never felt unsafe there. In May, five kids were charged with massive brawls caught on camera in the park. In the end of May, police say that a car, gun, and credit cards were stolen from people's vehicles. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell said that you'll be charged to the full extent of the law if you engage in these activities. You are going to get charged. We are going to hold you responsible for this, and you're not going to be going back to Kings Island. And Harrison has a message for the people coming and bringing violence. We're coming to have fun. They messing it up for other kids, and you know, they, they just need to be mindful because like all the families and stuff that want to come this year. And just within the last half hour or so, we actually got an update from Kings Island. This is one of the longest uh, different statements that they've been able to bring out to us within the last few weeks or so. And in it, they went through exactly what happened on Saturday night. So they mentioned that there was a boy and his father, and there were uh, actually a group of juveniles that were verbally harassing the boy and his father. The father was carrying a gun, but it was never shown, and he did not take it out uh, or brandish it at anyone. And they also say that there was no physical altercation that took place, which is unlike that first brawl that circulated on social media. But they are really hoping that people uh, make sure that they come to the park, are safe, and keep the fighting out of the park. Reporting live here at Kings Island, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.